But what, what's your relationship with PRE? With who? With PRE. They just they show you love with P R or P R E. I don't even know what that is. The streets of Memphis have been on fire ever since the murder, the assassination of Young Dolph, and a lot of things have transpired since then as well. Memphis vlogger Stan G just recently did an interview with Young Dolph murder suspect Hernandez Govan, or better yet known as Orange Mound Quit. And for that full interview and dialogue, go over to Stan G's channel and check it out in its entirety. But today we're gonna go over a couple of things that I heard Govan say to Stan that I need to break down and buckle up and slide with me. Run it. You shot straight, but you shot late. Hi, let me. This is the Rundown Podcast. Right, I'm gonna give you the rundown. Right, I'm gonna give you the rundown. Now off the dribble, go in was ass. Hey man, what's your relationship with PRE? And Govan acted as if he did not know or haven't heard of PRE before. And that's just like saying, well, you know, I haven't heard of Dolph, cause PRE was definitely Dolph. So for quit, Orange Mound quit, you know, to be from South Memphis and not heard of PRE, it's very suspicious. And CMG and PRE ran the city as far as music went. So how he didn't know that? <laughs> the record label, the record label from the city. I don't, I don't rap, I don't rap, Stanji. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't rap. It is what it is, man. Stanji. I, I, I don't rap and I ain't never had no, only rap beef I done ever had, man, with T.I. With Dolph and Govan both being from South Memphis, you know, I find it hard to believe that Orange Mound Quit don't know Young Dolph. He don't know Flip. You got a best friend named Lil Flip from Houston, right? Lil Flip from Houston. But you don't know Flipper Man from Memphis, huh? Say, man, hey, man, hey, man. Something ain't right. Everybody saying that you know Ray from the cookie shop. From Makita's cookie. Oh, man. Hey, what's, what's the old saying, Stan G? Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear? Man, <laughs> Raven walked in front of me right now and slapped the shit out of me. I wouldn't know who that lady was. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, hey, man, hey, man. That boy Stan G putting the pressure on Govan, asking him the tough questions, man. And say, that boy asked that boy, hey, you friends with the girl at the cookie shop? Raven, you know her? And basically now, nah, he don't know Raven. If she was to walk up to him, he say, and slap the dog feces out of him, Govan said he wouldn't even know who she is, right? And Raven whole explanation for her and Govan being friends on Facebook is that anybody can accept a friend request from a stranger. But the question is this, who sent the friend request, right? I understand that people can get friend requests from total strangers. And you might, you know, weirdly accept one every now and then, right? But who sent the request for them to become friends in the first place? Even if they wasn't friends, but only on social media. It's deeper than booty hair. Wow. Sir. You know, nah, I ain't, I ain't never. Well, I, I all the bloggers out there, they, you just threw that out the window. You ain't never seen no rain in your life. Man, man, look, I don't know this. I don't know. I don't know that lady, man. I ain't never met her. I ain't never been to the cookie shop with none of that goofy shit. <laughs> so by Govan answering the questions about the cookie shop makes me wonder. Now, when he can't say nothing about, you know, certain things, he'll say, hey, man, I can't answer that. You know, uh, it's an open case right now. But with the cookie shop, he's answering these questions. And he's saying he don't know Raven, right? And he also saying, you know, he ain't never been to Makita's or none of that. So uh, at the end of the day, maybe the rumor and innuendo was just that about the cookie shop. And they're not involved at all, like people might have thought. What's your and Black Youngster relationship? <laughs> that boy Stan G getting down to the meat and potato. That boy pulled the gravy on that bed. That boy asked that boy go, man. Say, man, what's your relationship with Black Youngster? 
I don't rap. I don't know. I ain't never met no black y'all today in my life. <laughs> Hold on now, go man. You ain't gotta be a rapper to know black youngster. That don't even make sense. But uh, you know what does make sense is that I know black youngster from South Mill. So is Dolph. And so are you, Govin. So how you not know who black youngster is? Right? That's suspicious oh, as well. That's crazy. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But now nah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But now nah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I now we just heard Govan say that he don't know bro. He don't know black youngster. And then he turned right around and said, well, yeah, I talked to him. So is that right? And what did y'all talk about, Hernandez? Because you just said you didn't know bro. And many would start to think that, well, why did you even confess to even talking to him. You didn't have to know that. So it's very interesting that Govan is picking and choosing, you know, things to admit to and things that he can't talk about in the interview. Right? Wow. Why did he throw Sammy Benson out there under the tour bus? Under the PRE tour bus at that? Yeah. Would you on a crime scene? I'm just gonna say it like this, what the blog was saying. Uh. <laughs> now, I spoke on Govan allegedly being on the crime scene moments after Dolph was killed, and he was caught on a live camera feed. And people swear up and down that that's Govan. And from the grainy photo, from the steel shot of the video, I can't tell if that's Govan or not. So I can't just put that out there that yes, definitely, let's go, man. Uh, well, does it look like him? Kind of, sort of, maybe. But, you know, the low quality of the photo leads me to believe that that might not be go, man. Ron James, your uncle. <laughs> For real, Jay. For real, man. All right, man. I'm, I'm trying to get into all the, all the, the, the rhetoric, you know what I mean? I'm here, man. All the rhetoric. You understand? I ain't. What, 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 what's, your, what's your relationship with CMG? Well, would you look at that? Right when Govan's, you know, laughing and playing around and giggling and being sarcastic, he's asked about CMG. And his whole body language changed up. Did you see that? So let's see if his energy is the same. Does he know CMG? Is he going to say the same thing like he said about Pre? Oh, I don't know them. Never heard of them. Let's see. I ain't got no comment on it. I feel I feel I can't. You know, I'm, bro, you know, I'm, I still got an open cake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we know what you're saying, Govan. But this is what we're saying. See, when you say, hey, man, this is an open case and there's certain things I can't speak about right now, that right there is an indication that these people who you're asked about may be involved, allegedly, in some type of way because you're talking about everything else. But when you ask things that you say you're not supposed to talk about, that gives us indication, Govan. See, it's not that hard to figure that out. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of shit that I can't speak on. I will respect you, you know what I'm saying, you know, and if you're from the streets, you know what I'm saying, you, you know, you understand that I'm sure, hopefully you can respect me too. What's your relationship with uh, CEOTs and straight drug, bro? Nah, I can't. You know, it's it, again, it's certain things, you know what I'm saying, I can't necessarily speak on right now, but, you know, like me and you talk, you know you, you know about part two. Man, Stan G putting the pressure on Govan. Now, once again, he's asking a question that Govan can't answer. He said, what's your relationship with CEOTs and straight drop, right? A two question in one shot. And Govan is saying, hey man, say man, I can't answer that. Now, you know, part two is coming. That's what Govan said. And supposedly in part two, Govan is supposed to be telling us more, revealing more of the things that he can't say in part one. So guess what? We will be tuned in. That's right. Can you break down how 
how you get a bun? Shit, by having a good attorney. And can you, what, what kind of attorney you got? Like, you got a name, Lil Durk attorney, right? <laughs> you asking me questions, you already know. <laughs> You got to put yeah. it out there. People want to know. Man, Aurora, man. Great attorney from Atlanta, man. Speculations and allegations were circling about Govan actually being paid by the real masterminds for the hit on Dolph. And he was just taking the blame as the mastermind. Like he actually wrote the blueprint. But in actuality, it was some more heavy hitters, some more elite people behind him, pushing him and the suspects to do what they did. To the king of Memphis, KOM, Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did and it come about? How did it come about? You just been in the game so long, you just how did it come about? Well, you know, prior to my situation, you know, uh, of course, you know, we all follow, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And uh I realized he was a great attorney when he represented Dirk and, and King Vaughn on their case. Uh that they was innocent. And Govan has two lawyers, let's be clear. He has the lawyer that represented King Von and Lil Dirk, and he also has a lawyer named Handel Durham that takes care of business as well. Did anybody in the industry help you pay for your, your, your lawyer, your, your situation? Not a soul. And my final take on this is that if Govan is speaking out publicly and the authorities are listening, you know, he has to be truthful about what he's saying because that's going to look suspicious on his part if he's saying he doesn't know people that he actually knows. So until the next time, subscribe, like, and comment. You're watching the Rundown Podcast. I appreciate everybody for spending with me. I appreciate all my subscribers for sliding with your boy every time. And say, man, hey, man, hey, man. Keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that subscribe button. And look, turn on post notification so we can slide whenever I get the drop. You already know what it is, man. It deep in the boot of her, you hear me? And guess what? I'm gone.